All right, so slime is coming tomorrow for global, and uh, I this will not be a passionate video. I just want to specifically highlight should you summon for the slime banner because that's what people want to actually know the slime banner is coming at a very strategic time where it releases exactly one month before anniversary anniversary on jp is releasing two weeks so should you spend gems on this banner and risk not having enough to maybe do a full rotation for anniversary now off the bat I will give you a short answer. If you have enough that you can summon on this banner and also do a free rotation anniversary, I see no reason why you wouldn't summon on this banner. Rimuru is a tremendous unit for PvP. Uh, he's just top of the tiers of PvP. And he's a tremendous unit for general PvE. For specifically Demonic Beast Battle, I wasn't the biggest fan of him. And no, he does not work in Belmoth or Grey Demon, so he's not a, a demon unit, or, or a demon uh, raid type unit. But, for general stuff, his DPS is so high that he can be your DPS character. Or, you know, he, you could bring him for Demonic Beast Battles, I just wasn't, I just didn't think that he was, you know, the best. Milam is, I, I really want to say, like, the best blue character for Demonic Beast Battle. The one... Probably still takes the edge for me, only because the one's ultimate is better. But Milam, along with Benimaru and Rimuru, got buffed. And they are much, much, much more usable than they used to be. These are the relics, of course. All the relics are uh, doable by the anniversary. Oh, no, sorry. Not the anniversary. By the, the materials you're going to be getting dur during celebration. And the um, the materials, people kept, kept asking, can you do, like, Tauri's relic with it? If you are one of the people who missed out on a KOF relic, yes, you can use these materials for the KOF relics. If you had, like, maybe you had Keo, but you never got his relic done because you weren't playing when the collab came back. Um, if you end up, like, not pulling on Obinimaru during this collab, you can just use the materials. You're going to be able to get, like, five of these. So, but choose well, because if you have all five slime characters, for example, you're gonna have to miss out on one of these to, you know, make a KOF one, so, you know. But, the, the Rimuru is just phenomenal. Uh, the Milam again for PvE, Milam is so good. For PvP, she's still very good. People were very upset that I didn't rank her very high for PvP. I'm just, you know, I'm very realistic. In PvP, right now, because she's blue, and, like, so many matches you're gonna be facing Rimuru because it's a new character and people wanna try him out. R Milam just cannot play the game. Like, Milam gets ultra cocked by Rimuru's because he removes her uh, her buffs every single turn. By the way, if you don't know what these units do, honestly, just <laughs> go down my catalog and watch my videos. It's more worth it. Um, I made videos on all of them so many times. I, I have more videos on Rimuru, Milam and stuff coming out as well because, damn it, they're fun units to make, especially, especially Rimuru and Milam. M Milam, to me, is my favorite unit of the batch to use because she's just so fun to use she hits so hard she on pv especially she just and it's so funny because she she does like you know a million damage with like a level one card on deer and then she goes back to her position like laughing just after doing like a war crime it's <laughs> i just find her hilarious but milam is just a very fun character she's so is rimuru honestly uh and again it if you can do a full rotation for anniversary and you can summon for, you know, the slime, I don't see why you wouldn't. But I think for the majority of players, what is really worth is the is the following, right? So, right now in JP, we have the slime banner, right? On Thursday, so two days from now, we're going to be getting mono, likely. That's what the leak told us. We don't know if that's exactly what's going to happen, but that, that's what the leak said and it, it's likely true. I wouldn't be surprised the next banner is a catastrophe banner. Uh, and then two weeks after that is anniversary. For the time anniversary will be live on JP, you will have ample time to summon for slime on global, right? The slime banner on global will still be only two weeks old. So you have, again, ample time to summon by knowing what the anniversary banner is. Because the thing about the slime banner is that I, again, I adore Rimuru. And 0.5 is just the general SSR rule with this... Or, or, sorry, 
rate is very good. I love Rim Room, but the banner sucks balls. Like, the banner is really bad. Red Demon Melee. Merlin is still a really good unit, you know, honestly, but it's a coin shop character. Green Lilia sucks. Red Ascaner sucks. Asterosa is fall off. Green Dariar is good for one activity, and she's like not even the best for that activity anymore. I feel like. And Droll sucks. It really. You, this banner sucks, you know? So you really <laughs> gotta think about that. You're gonna be getting two free multis on the banner. If you pull Rimuru on the two free multis, one free multi you can easily get from these missions. Right here. Uh, I got like day one, I think. Either day one or day two. Uh, so you just get the free multi like real quick. And then the other one's login. It, it will take you like two weeks. So that one takes a long time. By the time we're done with that, anniversary banner is out on JP. Uh, and you get the free copy of Blue Rimuru, which... He is okay. Uh, they, they, I want to say shafted him because he's free. Um, out of all the collab characters, I think he's the worst. By far the worst. And I, I think it's because he's free. Uh, his Holy Relic is the worst part of him, honestly. Um, but it'd be like that. So, you know, that's what I would say. Oh, by the way, Green Saurio is going to the SSR tickets, meaning that Red Tarmio will for sure also come to the SSR tickets. Thank the Nem Marble Overlords. They listened. I swear we've been complaining about characters not going to SSR tickets. And Green Saurio, he was like he just wasn't in SSR tickets for whatever reason. And now he's going to it. They they uh they uh, throw us a bone, <laughs> I suppose. I assume by anniversary the right Tarmio likely will also be in SSR tickets. That's what that's the time frame I'm guessing. Um which, you know, if you have a star tickets laying around, just save them for the Red Tarmio, honestly. So, so did the Goddess tickets. I wouldn't summon for Green Saurio. I would summon for both, you know, both Red Tarmio and Green Saurio, I think is a better idea. The rest of the stuff is just regular stuff, you know, bundles, whatever, whatever. There's a spectate thing. Uh, I just, the buffs, if you want to look in depth, uh, again, my videos on them will give you a more clear picture of uh, how they work. Um, you know, them by looking at the stats in general. Clayman is a pretty good boss, I think. Uh, I'll, I'll be releasing his video uh, as soon as the uh, the patch goes live on Global. Uh, with like a bunch of free-to-play-ish teams and, and fast teams for people to use to beat. Um, and just regular stuff like that. The, the patch brings actually a pretty good amount of stuff. But again, for, um, for you to summon here and then not have gems for anniversary... I think can be um, a bad idea. The biggest factor here for Rimuru, outside of the fact that he's incredibly good, um, is the fact that we don't know when he'll come back. I honestly really assume that this collab was a big success financially to both, you know, the Marble and the um, and whoever they're sharing revenue with uh, for the collab, and they would probably make a. A, a, a part three of this collab next year, very likely. But again, that's in a year, probably. So, you know, it's like if you miss our Rimuru now, he might come back next year. Might. He might come back next year, but will he be as good, as impactful as he is now? Uh, especially with his relic being so one, like, one sided, only does one thing. This, this is a relic that will age very fast, I feel like. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm wrong, but, you know, until then, we'll, we'll, we'll see how, how far Rimuru goes. But right now in PvP, he's a monster, and Milim is one of my favorite characters. I didn't really talk about the other characters too much. I also really, really like Benimaru. I just think that he could have been slightly better and less frustrating to use. Um, I do like him, though, and I do like Shuna kind of kind of for, for a, a Rimuru build. Uh, I just not, I'm not a big fan of units like her that are, like, healers. For PvP and for PvE, her only other way you honestly use her like Belmoff. Um, so you know, and yeah, not not my kind of unit to use, but she's still good. She's still good. I I, I acknowledge she is good. Um, but yeah, you you're gonna have to make your own decisions at the end of the day. So um, good luck with that. But yeah, just keep in mind, anniversary is in a month for global, but you will have. Being a global player gives you the advantage of knowing, oh, this is what the anniversary banner looks like. Uh, 
uh, do I want to spend gems on Shuna, you know? Uh, because if the anniversary banner is like Corruptus or Osa, and, you know, they 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 wipe out other guns and, and allow people to vote for like the the, uh, the Ragnar characters, I mean the banner, like Megelda, um, Jormungandr, um, and, and then allow maybe Red Tarmiel to be on the banner, like that, that banner could be crazy. While you look at the slime banner, which they strate strategically made bad because they knew people were gonna summon anyways, right? So you gotta think of, about that and keep that in mind. Uh, the guarantee is hard to, okay, is um, paid only, so if you, I mean, if you're a spender, you don't need me to tell you what to do, probably. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, okay, I'll get one red tarmio with this when that comes out. <laughs>